Hello and welcome back to Bits and Bobs. Today's video is all about the 1854 Sovereign and the reign of Queen Victoria. I will first go through the design of the coin and then move on to the facts and figures. So here we have the reverse design, a highly acclaimed and beautiful design depicting the Court at Arms royal shield there to the centre. This is then crowned with a lovely ornate royal crown above it, then encircled by two branches creating a wreath around the shield. These are then tied together at the bottom with a ribbon tied in a bow. Below this is the national flowers of parts of the UK. We have the thistle for Scotland, the rose for England, and the shamrock for Ireland. We then have to the sides there the legend of the coin in Latin, reading Britannidum Regina Fid Death, or in English meaning Queen of Britain, Defender of the Faith. Of course, titles belonging to Queen Victoria, who we can see now on the obverse of the coin. This is a young head portrait as designed by William Wyon, and features the young queen facing to the left, with her hair in a bun, and two ribbons in her hair, with the initials WW on her neck for the designer William Wyon. Below this is the date of the coin, 1854, so of course the year the coin was made, and then to the top there is the legend, again in Latin, reading Victoria de Gratia, meaning Victoria by the grace of God, as they believed back then she was chosen by God to rule. Around the rim we can see small teeth milling or beading to prevent the coin from being clipped or shaven and ensure the coin's gold content remains the same and is not filed away. So there's the design of the coin, and now on to the facts and figures. So this is a coin minted at the Tower Hill Mint in London, where the Royal Mint is based between 1810 and 1975. The coin is composed of a 0.917 gold purity, so this is 91.7% pure gold, or 22 carat gold, the gold purity within the gold sovereign. The weight of the coin is 7.98 grams, as was set in law, alongside the purity and the diameter of 22.05 millimeters, all set in law in 1817, in the introduction of the modern sovereign. The mintage of this year of sovereign is 3,589,611. So not too common, but by no means a rare coin, a fairly average mintage for the sovereign. The sovereign being a 240 pence coin, which is 20 shillings, or of course one pound sterling, of course a gold sovereign, was the pound coin of the day, and back in 1854, a gold sovereign or one pound would have equaled 138 pounds and 93 pence today. So certainly not a small change coin, much more high value purchases made of the coin. The coin is still legal tender and can still be spent, however, I would not, rec I would not recommend it as now we'll look at the values for collectors and investors, with the coin selling for 515 pounds in poor condition, 650 pounds in fine condition, £1,300 in extremely fine condition, and £2,100 in uncirculated grade. So as you can see, a very high priced coin, as it is very old and very beautiful, but of course mainly as it is gold. So there we go, comment down below, do you have any Victorian sovereigns? Please subscribe if you've enjoyed, thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon for some more coins in the future on Bits and Bobs.